It's June the 9th, and if I want to get the last of my summer vegetables to produce, they've got to be potted up today. We're going to harvest and so much more, so stay with me. Okay, I just did a two-hour live stream for my office, so you have to go back and see what we talked about. I had some breakfast, and now I'm finally out here. As you can see, the sun is almost directly overhead, and this is as much sun as I ever get on my driveway. In fact, this sliver will be in sun in about an hour. So if I want to work in the shade, I've got to get these tomato plants potted up right now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pot up those eight tomato plants, which I did not sell and still have. I actually was kind of liking the idea of them all being in the same kind of container, which are the seven gallon drawstring grow bags. So I ordered a few more, but I'm not going to have enough. So that's one, two, three. It's only five. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is pot up five tomatoes. Now the problem is this shelf is usually packed full of soil and we have really depleted it of late so if I throw everything I've got together it's probably maybe fill up five of those bags and I've got other stuff to pot up. I broke down and got a manicure last week and she gave me these little plastic gloves and she said put them inside my work gloves to protect my manicure. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> now fortunately, because I already put the nutrition and the aspirin and everything in these pots, all I have to do is mix up my potting soil and pop them in. I'm going to use the wheelbarrow today so I don't have to bend over quite so much. I don't remember what this is. Remember, I always cut these bags to the end. And I leave this to make it easier to close. These are two different brands of plant mix, organic. This one is clumpy and I should have used the strainer on it.
point I am switching places with the with the uh, that thing uh, wheelbarrow so I can be in the shade because I know my hair is going white in the sun <laughs> my hair is still in the sun like this method because I was able to pull off the dirty glove which is dirty inside also and keep my hand clean to touch my camera get that one done. I got my last batch of mix together and ready. As you can see, I have three done, one almost done, no, four done, and another one almost done, and there's three left to go. I did find a, a beet that needs to be harvested, right here. So I'm gonna harvest these beets, it's only two. <laughs> And I'm going to dump the soil in here and mix it up, and then I should have enough for this one and that one, and a couple of little pots. So we'll see. Small. 
look very nice and the leaves look beautiful and just remember the leaves of beets are more nutritious than the root itself a lot of potting soil to fill up a seven gallon grow bag. I guess it takes about seven gallons. You know from, from uh, what's this thing called? Uh, wheelbarrow to wheelbarrow the batches can vary anyway. Number five. I just break off these lower ones and stick them right in. I only do that in the very beginning when the plants are healthy. If they've got mildew or fungal diseases present, I would not do that. I would clip off the leaves and put them in the garbage, not compost them. Okay, how many of you guys and gals were thinking when I moved the umbrella back here that she's got about another half an hour before she wears out? <laughs> So I had to make a choice about which tomato plants to pot up today. I may or may not be able to do the other two. I chose the one that has the blooms on it. Now, if it was earlier in the season, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been an issue, but it is June 9th. And I remember when I went to Tomato Mania, which is, a, which is a, an event they have around LA the whole LA County area and this particular person runs it and I did a video which you'll see the link right up there I did that in my second season I think of late bloomer and they have hundreds of varieties of tomatoes this was back before I was seeding my own tomatoes and I remember him telling me if your if your uh, flowers haven't set by June you're probably not going to get any fruit and I'm hoping that's not true, <laughs> exactly true, uh, because we haven't had any hot weather. I mean, we haven't, and tomatoes respond to hot weather. So we're just starting to get, this is our first so-called heat wave. It's about 78, <laughs> I think, and feels hotter than that when you're working in the sun. But I have finished these, and so that's one tomato tip. The other one is a lot of people asked about the aspirin. Some people thought, no, that's a pharmaceutical drug. You shouldn't be putting that in your planting hole. But there is a reason for that. It stimulates a hormone in the roots that puts up uh, a defense mechanism for the plant saying, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna fight you off. Um, I don't take notes. If you know me all this time, you know that I'm one of the my weaknesses is writing things down and taking notes so that I can go back and look, you know. I mean, uh, what's the beautiful garden in, in um, is it Monticello? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm so tired. Uh, but he took copious notes about how each thing did and how long and when it was seeded and this thing and that thing. And of course he had a lot of help. Uh, but he really knew what was going on in his garden and that's one of the things I'm not very good at is keeping track of stuff, even varieties. Somebody just asked me on the live stream today if I was going to be growing sunflowers this year and I explained that these wild parrots that live in this canyon over here, they fly over directly over my house twice a day, the whole flock, and if they see sunflowers, they're going to be there. That's their favorite favorite thing to do is de decimate sunflowers before they ever open. <laughs> so, and, and also when I planted the pineapple guavas in the parkway, that was the best sun. Sunflowers love sun. And so it just made it really hard to grow sunflowers, even though they make me very happy and I wish I could. One other thing I'm gonna do to these tomatoes, which I forgot to do when I did my mix, as I'm just going to put a handful of earthworm castings in, in the top of each pot. I already did that with those out there. One more tomato tip, which I talk about in my tomato mania video. So if you watch that, you'll see it. That's where I learned what is going on up there. Uh, 
That's where I learned about watering tomatoes. Water deeply but infrequently. No, tomatoes do not like to be watered every day. Too much water can give your fruit blossom end rot and it depletes the calcium from around the roots and the plant and that's why it develops those rotted bottoms. If you get blossom end rot, it's not the end of the world, it's not the end of the plant. You can continue that plant, remove that fruit and ju just correct the situation by giving your plant some calcium. This is just a temporary measure to put this uh, variegated thyme in this pot because it'll outgrow this very quickly. In fact, look, look how root bound it is already. In fact, I think I'm just gonna take some of that off. Loosen up the outside edges of the roots because it's totally root bound. Something like this that makes a lot of roots would be, would be happier in a cloth pot. So this is just temporary. I have two stems. So what I'm gonna do, this looks like the main stem, so I'm gonna position the plant this way, which has a little more support. I just dropped a handful of dirt in my shoe. You just really haven't lived until you've done that. <laughs> okay. Maturity, 75 to 80 days. Well, this, this may be a total impossible task. We shall see. I think I'm going to top this off with some with some orchid bark just to keep the moisture in a little bit better. Nice roots on there. Not going to disturb those. They have a different name for it on here, but this is a Phileas Blue. And you can see the Phileas Blue in my first series of two-part pepper videos from my pepper playlist. They're just gorgeous. They turn bright red, they turn orange and then bright red. And these have about 40,000 units of capsaicin. So, you know, they're plenty hot. In fact, you can see me eating one in the video. I'm going to top this one off with just some pine shavings that I happen to have laying around. Oops. Ah! <laughs> okay, look. This is a discovery. I put a hornworm in this pot with pine shavings and a little dirt last year. It's still here. Where'd it go? And don't you? There it is. That is the pupa of a tobacco hornworm. This is not Freddy, if you happen to see the video about Freddy. That was the year before. But this is how it looks. And I don't know if this is still viable because it's been in there a very long time, but it looks... Did that just move? <gasps> Are my... Yes, that's moving. <laughs> that pupa is alive and well. And it's going right back in there. Um, never mind about the uh, pine shavings. Get those back to the... You may be wondering, why are you promoting a tobacco hornworm? That's a very good question. I just find, I find them fascinating. They're the biggest, they're the biggest caterpillar that you can find here. And they're beautiful. Very destructive, but beautiful. Anyway, 
I have no idea what will happen when it emerges. But it's amazing how it can live all winter in that pupa without eating, drinking, or anything. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. We've done it. Okay, so I'm tired, so I'm going to sign off right now. Thank you so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, sharing them with friends. Please look in the description below for ways to support this channel. There are many ways. <laughs> and if you love what I do, please lend your support. If you can't afford any financial support, then be sure and share. Share, share, share because the more subscribers, the more views, the more YouTube shares my videos, and the more I grow, and the more I'll be able to keep going. So thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. If you liked this video, be sure and watch these.